Hi, my name is Justine Harkness, and in this video, we'll look at how to write an equilibrium constant for a reversible reaction. An equilibrium constant is a ratio of products over reactants whenever a reaction is at equilibrium. Now, the equilibrium constant itself is temperature dependent, so as the temperature changes, the value of KEQ will also change. But at a given temperature, the equilibrium constant is a constant, so it will have the same value always. Now, to write an equilibrium constant, we take the ratio of products over reactants. One thing to note is in a KEQ, we will include things that are aqueous, and we also include things that are gases. We do not include pure liquids and solids, and we'll look at why that is in a later video. Now, in this particular reaction, or example reaction, all of our coefficients were one, but let's take a look at how this changes when we have other values for our coefficients. Now, here we have coefficients of A, B, C and D, and to write this equilibrium constant, we still do the ratio of products over reactants, but notice our exponents in our KEQ expression are the coefficients from this balanced chemical reaction. So let's take a look at some examples and write some equilibrium constants. Now, in example A, we have um, acetic acid dissociating to produce acetate in a proton. Notice that all of our reactants and products are aqueous. All of our coefficients are one. So to write our KEQ, we'll do the ratio of the products. Here we have our acetate, the proton, and we divide this by the concentration of our reactant, that acetic acid. So this is our equilibrium constant expression. Let's take a look at this second reaction. Now again, all of our reactants and products are aqueous, but notice now we have some coefficients. So we're still gonna do a ratio of products to reactants. Here we have carbonic acid as a product. And it would just be to the first power since our implied coefficient is one. We have sodium chloride. Notice our coefficient for sodium chloride is two, so we put that squared in our equilibrium constant. In our reactants, we have sodium carbonate. It would have an exponent of one, since it has that implied coefficient of one. And then we have hydrochloric acid. Notice we have two of them in our balanced chemical reaction. So here our exponent for hydrochloric acid should be two. So this would be our equilibrium constant expression for that second reaction. So now you should feel more comfortable writing an equilibrium constant expression for a reaction.